Yo, what up, GGs? It's your favorite Jet Set Radio YouTuber, your boy False Proof. Um, if I ever say this again, uh, you can all just tell me to delete my channel and I will make sure to do so post haste. Anyway, we are playing Jet Set Radio Advance, Game Boy Advance Edition. And today, we're gonna go to Grind City. It's here. We gonna tag or die, baby. Uh, for some reason, this the name of this level really reminds me of Skate or Die. That's a pretty good game. Pretty good game. Not gonna lie. We're gonna we're gonna tag or die today, folks. And if you don't win, then you're gonna die or get tagged. Okay, so we can go with either Cambo, who is has a lot of power but no speed, or we can go with Cube, who actually has decent stats. I'm I'm thinking we go with your girl Cube. Oh, chapter two, six months earlier. Strange paintings of rhinos and bizarre symbols. Ever since the emergence of these paintings, strange things have been happening in the city. All right, well, oh, oh, okay. So I guess technically this is like a flashback little scene right here. From what I remember, it's it's been a hot minute since I've played the original Jet Set Radio. Obviously, still very fun, but I'm just, I'm gonna be honest. It's been a bit of time. It's been a little bit of time. I won't lie to you. It's it's been a bit of time, so it's kind of nice to re-experience it with uh, Jet Set Radio Advance. I like it. I like the difference in the aesthetic visuals of this compared to the older one. It's kind of nice, but you know, obviously, the weird thing about this is that this port actually came out after Jet Set Radio Future, which is like the weirdest thing. Also, uh, it was published by THQ. Which also seems kind of odd. Also, I love how the spray cans literally just regen. Yeah, it, it just seemed odd that a company like THQ, which is really known for a lot of its uh, like third-party stuff. I think they did Saints Row, or I might be. Yeah, they did. They do like Saints Row. Uh, they I knew them a lot for the wrestling stuff. They made basically all the wrestling games for a very long time. Uh, a lot of the main ones. So it is weird for me to like see that logo and associate it with Jet Set Radio because, you know, I associate Jet Set Radio with Sega, smile bit, and usually not THQ. But, you know, there are people that I've talked to who said that this was their first uh, Jet Set Radio game. And they, they, they enjoy it. You know, it's very different from any other Jet Set Radio experience you're going to get on any other console. Obviously, because of the visual, everything else controls. It's, it's just okay, okay, gentlemen. Just, just uh, yep. Just they just they just decided to go for a little dive there. They're just like, hey, bud, we're just gonna we're gonna go dive if that's cool with you. And I'm like, hell yeah, it is. I don't gotta deal with you guys anymore. All right, drop down. Is it, oh, there's my Pokeball graffiti. I keep forgetting I made that. Um, it only really pops up like once in a blue moon, mostly because not all the levels really have like uh, small graffiti. And the game pros again. I mean, all I was gonna say after, before I was rudely interrupted by a glitchy game, was mostly just that it seems weird for me, uh, from my perspective, just to see THQ's name on a Jet Set Radio game. Mostly because. I, did, I never would have thought they'd, uh, you know, do a port of a nice old cult classic over here. But, uh, hey, whatever makes you money, right? Oh, and here they come. Hey, boys. Yep, that was not glitchy at all. There we go. Assassins have been dispatched. Wow. This is totally not ridiculous. Now, let's see if I drop down. I was just right over here. I assume it's just a, it's a spray by. We spraying it by and we making him cry because they can't catch us. But hey, still Nitro. I thought it was going to be way worse than Nitro. Unfamiliar cars and strange men are hanging around the streets. There's definitely something wrong here. You know what? I might have given them some slack for those hot handlebar mustaches and that wonderful pixel Rokaku. They right. This is getting a little shady. These all just seem to be challenges. So I think we might just keep going through the story. Let's let's rock and roll, boys. Back again with our girl Cube. Grand Square was built by the Rokaku Group. Is this all they're doing? All right. So basically, same area, different uh, graffiti. Now that I'm thinking about it, 
how would you all feel if they made a, another Jet Set Radio game in this style? Like in the style of Jet Set Radio Advance, Jet Set Radio GVA, Jet Grind Radio Advance. God dang, this game has so many different titles that it goes by. It is birds of a many feather, but they all mean the same thing. All right, we're gonna just, we're gonna, oh, we are not gonna, wait, hang on. Hold up one second, one second, one second. Oh, we have been six episodes into this. We can basically put on whatever song we want to. No, I got, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pick my favorite. There we go. Everybody jump around. I love jumping around. Well, not just not jumping around in general, but also this song because it's a good song. Hello, gentlemen. It's so nice to see you again. A your AI is still buggy as all hell, which I totally love and appreciate. It's not like I am going to question really terribly programmed AI ever. And of course, the whipping assassins are back at it again with their hot whips. Actually, that sounds really odd. I'm I did not mean to say it like that. Oh wait. No. Release the shock troops. What? What? Are you serious right now? Okay. All right, we out here. We out here doing some some crazy shit. Okay. All right. There we go. And can we, ah, uh, no. Unfortunately, I forgot how to actually spray graffiti. Chopper's reporting will engage enemy. Awesome. So now, not only do I have one group of crappy DI, I now have four. Well, technically three groups of people. Hello, hello, gentlemen. I, I, I love being whipped. I love being whipped. It's, um, okay, I really gotta stop this. I'm about to get demonetized. Okay, so what are we looking at now? We got five more pieces of graffiti left. Our time is spectacular. Oh my goodness. I'm learning how to play a game. It's honestly the biggest revelation ever. Um, we're gonna grab a little more graffiti, make a little mural for our friends over here in Grind City. Make and then sure that they know the GGs are ruling the roost here in any territory. The territory is a territory. Wise word from someone. Definitely some kind of sample that Nakanuma pulled from somewhere. If y'all actually know that sample off the top of your heads, uh, let your boy false know. I know there's like a whole like post on the internet. I think it's on Tumblr where they just kind of like, uh, you know, say all the different uh, samples that Nakanuma used in all his different pieces, which is kind of nice. Um, which is nice little knowledge base. Like, I think I heard the sample for Sweet Soul Brother in a really old like 80s or 90s rap song. It was definitely used way before Sweet Soul Brother was even composed, which I mean, it's fine. Oh, 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 yeah, true. I keep forgetting about these dudes. And as always, the AI, just beautiful, beautiful AI. I love it, I love it. I love how good it is that it just decides to literally just make my game completely die. Oh, okay, all right, we out here, we out here. All right, we got one piece of graffiti left. I gotta go up the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, spray the graffiti. We're just gonna make a little graffiti place here. And I think that is gonna do it for the second level of Grind City. That's fantastic. Still a nitro. I'm fine with it. It's all good. I, I don't know what's going down. What's this new radio station, Jet Set Radio, that everyone keeps talking about? Right. I keep forgetting it's technically six months before the events of Jet Set Radio. It's like a little flashback. Well, we got no choice but to fly to Tokyo for some help. People are saying a group called the GGs are who to talk to. Okay. That's kind of neat. I did not think that was going to happen because... I figured Grind City, Grind Square was all in Tokyo, or sorry, I thought I thought Grind City and Grind Square were both in Japan. But I guess they have to fly. It, it might still be in Japan, but definitely not in Tokyo. So that's interesting. I'm learning things. My old man brain is learning things, and that's what's important here. It seems like we have lots of choices here. Um, we could cause an explosion. We could fight or flight, or we could, uh, you know, 
do a little Benton Burning. I'm trying to think of which title really is piquing my interest right now. I want to say that perhaps it might be Explosion. I'm, I'm, I'm being drawn towards it. But it seems... Okay, I was like, did I lose cube and combo? All right, okay. So technically, those two levels I just did, I could only really do with cube and combo, maybe? I'll have to look into it more, but I, I figured cube was just so good. We're going to use her again. Very nice and balanced. Professor K here igniting the airways with some hot beats. But I hear there are some crazy cats out there playing with more than just musical fire. All right, well, uh, looks like we're back in Shibuya Cho. I really should have read where it was on the map. I guess that's one thing that's kind of nice about the original Jet Set Radio. You know exactly where you're going to be all the time. But man, like, I, I just keep thinking back to when he first started playing, you know, this version of Jet Set Radio and how clunky it was feeling for me. And that's the one thing you just got to tell people when they're first playing this game is it's going to feel clunky every time. Like, I've been playing this for years. Y'all know I'm still... Okay, that was two sound effects at once. I can't deal with this. Once you get it down, it feels so nice and smooth. It feels real nice. I was so excited. I just sprayed some nice graffiti. And then I realized we got to go to the other section of Shibuya Cho to finish up this graffiti. Oh, hey, Bomb Squad. How's it going? I love how you all just look at me. I'm sorry. What? What? Uh, how about I just not deal with this rationally? I don't, I don't, I don't want to deal with a bunch of guys who can just cause me to die just randomly. That's fun. All right, we're gonna we're gonna hit that and we're gonna get stuck completely. Okay, well that was weird. All right, goal. So the goal now is basically get out of here as fast as you humanly can. We're just gonna hit all the graffiti we can right now. Oh, hey, boys. Hey, what's going down? What's going down? Y'all ready to clown? I don't think y'all are. I don't think y'all are. Yeah, I don't think y'all want to mess with me. I'm false proof, boy. Best YouTube jet set radio player in all the land. Now that is the most egregious lie I've ever told in my life. All right. Spray that graffiti, boy. We're almost there. Almost. We're almost at the end, I think. That should just be another spray by. And then we got two left, which are all the way up. All right, same. All right, next side. Go. All right, go, 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 go. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. I have, like, no graffiti on me at all. This is gonna be so fun. Oh, hey, boys. How's it going, dudes? Oh, no. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a nightmare. Oh, wow. Now there's cars. This is not gonna be a nightmare at all. All right. All right. Let's see where... How much graffiti I can get on this downturn. I don't see a lot. So it looks like it's all within these like giant little staircase things, which is always fun. Hmm. Basically, I'm just gonna have to investigate it, see what I can find. I'm just gonna have to do that first set of graffiti real quick. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. 
So close, so fucking close. Come on, please. Please. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Ten seconds to spare. Well, um, yeah, alright. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's... I think I'm... Uh, I, oh, I can't even talk right now. Because I am so tired. Wow. This here is your very own Tokyo Pirate Broadcaster Jet Set Radio. Them nasty Rokaku posters have all been covered up by GG Graffiti. Way to go. Thank you, Kay. I, I know it's just the Game Boy Advance version of you, but I know you really mean it to me. I know you mean it to me. Thank you, man. But when they weren't looking, someone swiped their record. We, we had the whole record? I thought we just had pieces. Whatever, it's fine. You gotta go after him, right? Yeah. We gotta go after him. Next time. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying Jet Set Radio Advance. If you saw earlier, you might be getting an actual Jet Set Radio LP at some point. I'm just saying. You want it? Let me know. Anyway, I'm False Proof, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>